I love this right now. No. Don't do it. No. No, they're short bussing. We haven't had a short bus in ages. Wait a minute. This is some sort of majestic healing maneuver that's going on right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. It is great to have you all here today, as usual. So this is going to be a little bit of a different episode, a little bit of an interim episode while I start setting up uh, what we will be doing for season, what are we on, season three? So season four, <laughs> kind of lost track of what season we were on, but yeah, for season four, I, we're going to do a custom campaign. In fact, uh, the author of the custom campaign, Abye, just let me know that things are updated and ready to rock, so that's what I'm going to be prepping for us. We're going to be doing a little bit of a, a dual play style in the custom campaign where we are going to focus on capturing enemy ships if possible and uh, I will also be doing some light building on my end but uh, that's just something we'll be looking forward to in the custom campaign going forward uh, but until then we're going to be rocking out in this episode all of the classics all of the ships that I have built uh, in my time here at From the Depths mainly from season one and I'd say partially through season two I focused on building ships up until essentially work uh, got really busy. I am a software developer and I'd probably say the last four or five months have just been crazy busy for me and as you all know, you know, we've just been pulling in community ships so I haven't been doing that much building but there are a lot of new people on the channel. Welcome everybody, by the way. It's awesome having everybody here and uh, so, so a lot of you may know that or may not know that I actually have built ships and uh, I have quite a few here. We got so many classics. The B-90 Deep Fister, the Interceptorians, uh, the Orbital Rain, which you may have seen. The River's Delight, a classic. The Slender Slick Stick. Oh my god, if I could talk. Actually, this is called the Holenfoyer now. Uh, Taste of Delights and Flights. The X-10 Sky Delights and the X-20 Sky Hammers. We have a plethora of ships. Let's just go look at some of these really quick uh, so you guys can see what these are going to look like. Oh, it's just been so long. It's been so long for me. Uh, it's one, just note, a lot of these may not work anymore. I'm going to be blown away if, if a lot of these work. I've spawned them in, I haven't really tested them. You know, a lot of these were made like 5, 10, 15 updates ago in the game and so much has changed. So here's the B90 Deep Fister. <laughs> I don't know why I called, this, uh, called it that. I really, really don't know. Uh, it has a, lot, a big laser array on, on the left and right. It's one ugly mother. Look at this, so ugly. It's built not using fleet colors. Are we inside a look? But look at this, this beautiful captain's quarters. Look at this, you can just walk around up here in the old B-90. The old deep fister. Oh, fist so deep. The two of the enemies. That's that's the whole point of this ship. Uh, so, that, oh, there it goes. I fell off. So there's the B-90. I thought we'd just take a little, a little glance at these really quick here. Let's take a look at an Interceptorian really quick. If I can get over to it. Yeah, here's a little Interceptorian. <laughs> Oh, these are so basic and so ugly. So some of these were starting ships that I built. For instance, this one just has missiles. In fact, what's the makeup look like? Let's see, short range thruster, fuel tanks, fins, oh, three frag warheads, all with low cones. I remember these Interceptorians are very effective, but they are, they're just made of paper. They're made of balsa wood. You know, these things are, are meant to just utterly get wrecked. So here's the orbital rain. I'm just going to go over these. I hope that's okay. We're just going to take a look at these really quick. The orbital rain is way up here. This is, you know, sits sits in the uh, the upper atmosphere. And it has a, an array of four different missile types that spin. And each of the missiles uh, specialize in a different attack type. Just to give this a, an all-around attack. That's the orbital rain. Looking really suave up there. Looking great. Now here's a classic. The River's Delight. This was one of the very first ships that I built. And we used this for quite some time in Season 1. You know what? Look at this. It actually still... Wow, it still works. This has some basic defenses. It has some uh, missile warners and, and lambs. And it's also got uh, the three cannons set up here. It's supposed to be pretty accurate, but I know now when it shoots, it's probably going to have some problems. And of course, it has all of its ammo down here as part of the keel system on the River's Delight. So if anything hits down here, it's it's pretty much a game over situation for this ship. So there's the River's Delight. Here's the Slender Stick. This is one of the bigger ships that I built. Uh, we're, we'll call this the Holen Foyer. That's really what it is. Here it is. Uh, it doesn't have its little healing tentacle. It's supposed to have some healing stuff behind it. Unfortunately, this does not. I don't know why, but this has a plethora of systems. It has the two main cannons on the top. 
as you can see here. And on the bottom, kind of hard to see. We'll go into build mode here. But if we if we hop inside the uh, the inner sides, we have a setup of torpedoes with some some uh, uh, frag and explosive warheads. And then on the other side, we have missiles. And these have frag warheads in a one turn. And uh, these, these work fairly well. These should be able to launch and get up to the surface and fire out. So that's probably one of our stronger ships. Uh, we've also got the Tasty Delight in Flight. <laughs> these names that I gave these are awful. It still flies. Oh, it's amazing. Look at it. It still works. She's beautiful. And the Tasty Delight in Flight. Look at this. I love giving these like big areas to, to stand in, walk around in. Beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. We got the fire control system right here. We can pop open the doors and walk out on the wings. Who wouldn't want to do this? Look at this. We're cruising, baby. All right, there's the Tasty Delight. We just have a couple more to look at here. So here's the X-10. Y'all are just getting the full-on run-through right now. Whoa. Okay, apparently the X-10 does not have a way to sit on it. Oh, yeah, this this was such an ugly ship. <laughs> it's like a big flying box with a, a dual missile setup in the front. Zero defenses on this baby. Flies kind of fast, close to 60 meters a second. Sure is ugly. Look at this. It's literally a flying box. You can see here why I honestly don't build that much. <laughs> Here's the X-20 Sky Hammer. Let's get in on this one. Oh, yep. Uh, there we go. So here's the Sky Hammer. Tons of missiles. No defenses. Uh, this was back when, you know, I built these uh, enemies. You know, w at some point we didn't even have shields as an option. And uh, defenses were at a minimum. And I believe this was built around that time. You know, just a kind of a classic flyer in the shape of a, a V. It's it's really pretty basic. So that's the X-20. And then the very last thing we have is the X-9 Experimental. I don't even know what this is. We're about to find out. Are you going to spawn in? Okay. Here we are. What do we got on this? What is going on with this? Oh, oh yeah, look at this. I forgot. This baby is ready to rock. Look at this. These cannons. No defenses. Once again, zero defenses. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I built a lot of these just to take on the deep water guard, is what I'm thinking. <laughs> Can this thing even go? Let's find out. Oh! Holy smokes, this... Oh my god, what is it doing? Stop. Stop, please. What, uh, is this, is this, like, actually a maneuver that's happening right now? What is this doing? <laughs> this is gonna be epic to watch. Is this all it does? Just gonna do a sweet barrel roll? Look at that back in the water count it all right so these are the ships we're bringing in now i've prepped us i've prepped us we're going to actually fight the steel striders so let's go ahead let's declare war with the steel striders are these them i think they're these yellow guys yeah let's do it declare war insult them so they hate us okay escape steel striders all right 10 exit we're i'm, I'm so ready for this right now did i declare war on the right people Oh, wow, I made a, might have, hmm. let's see, Steel Striders, could have sworn I declared war on them. Oh, it's this one, I did the wrong ones, okay, did the wrong ones, I'm an, I'm an idiot. There we go, now we should have some action, okay. So let's go ahead and get this battle set up. This is going to be awesome. We're probably going to get wrecked, so we're going to be facing a force count 12, strength 202. Whew, it's a big one, oh my gosh. You know what? It's been a long time since we fought the Steel Striders. This is going to be really awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, declare war here. Let's get the setup phase going. Holy smokes. All right. <laughs> Give me a second to organize this, and we'll, uh, we'll come back here. All right. We are all set up here, ladies and gents. I have all of our ships in the right areas that I want them. Now, we're going to be screwed. I'm going to be honest. Here's, look at this. We got a bull shark. We got a Norge, okay? A CC Norge and a Bull Shark alone are enough to take us out and just utterly decimate us. Uh, I don't think we have what it takes to take these out. We got a Typhoon class. We have a Stratostorm. I mean, a, a Junker. The Junker is actually a really cool looking ship. A Mulp. Okay, so I've actually seen most of these. I don't think I've seen a Spirit Shielded, but this should be pretty fun. And look at this little Novar right in the front there. So here's the order we're bringing it in. I tried to mix it up so... You know, the first, you know, uh, 10 or so ships, or maybe 9, I think. I'll, actually, all the way up to number 10 should be 
Let me bring this sky hammer down. Pretty unique. Uh, we should see like one of each ship, essentially. And we have pretty good forces here. Look, it's um, we get 14k, enemy gets 11k, 12k essentially. So going to be a pretty even battle. So let's go ahead and start this baby up. And we're going to put our character... Let me see here. I don't want our character in any of the ships, just because we'll, we'll probably die. I don't want to have to deal with us dying, so we're going to number 17 here. Let's see, number 17, really hard to see, is right here. So we'll pop our character down there. There we go. Here's here's what it's looking like. All of our forces kind of surrounding the uh, Steel Striders. That's who we're going up against, right? Just so I'm not derping hard. Yep, I think so. Double checking. Oh, I can't see the name if I mouse over. Unfortunate. We'll do it this way. Hang on. It's, yeah, Steel Striders. All right. I just completely blitzed on that one. All right, let's begin the battle. Oh, yeah, baby. Here we go. So we'll see what we get. We get the River's Delight, the X9, and the B90. Oh, lovely. Okay, let's uh, turn the interface off. Here we go. Look at the B90. Bzz. Bzz. You saw, I saw a few laser zaps there coming out. Now here are... No, the X9. What are you doing? It looks hilarious. <laughs> what is it? What's the River's Delight doing? <laughs> this is the best. What do we got down here? Wow, we took something out. Yo, we took something out. Look at our B90. Holy crap. Our ships are doing stuff. Oh, I'm so excited right now. Oh, no. Our, our X9, though. Totally out of commission. I built that awful. And the River's Delight is getting smashed here. Smashed bits. That's not really surprising. But look at this. I believe this is the Junker, is what was right in front of us here. We got, we got something else spawning in. Oh, is this the Bull Shark? Look at how beautiful this is. 11,000 blocks of lovely. Okay, here comes the B90. That Deep Fister. Look at it. Come on, baby. Pull up. Pull up. We still got the River's Delight doing what I... It's just the most intense maneuver over there. Still firing. Not super legit. Oh, look, we are hitting the Bull Shark. Oh, Jesus. No. B90. Live, my friend. Oh, one sec, everybody. One sec. We need to turn degraded mode back on. I forgot I, I turned that off. Let's put this down to 20. There we go. More than likely, we... Oh, look at this, y'all. The River's Delight and the X9 upside down. We're hammering the Bull Shark. I am, I am blown away right now. I am literally blown away. How's the Bull Shark doing? Wow, we, we are just cranking on this. The B90 down to 84%. The River's Delight is still, it's pretty hurt. Still firing though. Doing this, this super weird maneuver. Just popping a squat is what's happening. Here it goes, Come, coming back. Oh my god, the whole side just came off. Yeah, River's Delight, you, you could use a little overhaul, my friend. And when I say a little overhaul, I mean a huge overhaul. Oh, heck, I feel like it's just running so great. Let's just boost this up a little bit to, like, maybe 34,000 blocks. <laughs> Here we go. We're getting in some more ships. All right. Still running great, by the way. We, we're bringing in a bunch more. Still running great. So, look, we got a Tasty Delight in flight. There you can see it, launching all those missiles. Oh, look at this. We got an X-20, I believe. Flying up above there. Look at this. Enemy can't handle this. Oh, look, we got a little X-10. Whee! Look at him. A little box flying in the air. These are truly the classics, my friends. Wow, look at us. Man, we got stuff going all over. I love this right now. No. Don't do it. No. No, they're short bussing. We haven't had a short bus in ages. Wait a minute. This is some sort of majestic healing maneuver that's going on right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. We're down. X10 down. <laughs> X10. No, the Sky Delight. It just got utterly hammered by the B90. How are we doing here? We're still doing okay. Look at this, y'all. We took a bull shark out <laughs> with these classics. Oh, I'm laughing so much right now. All right, so our uh, River's Delight is definitely dead. Our X9, unfortunately, is still just completely upside down. Unbelievably, though, still able to shoot. 
This is amazing. Alright, we got some more ships spawning in. It's probably something big. Whoa. Oh, we got a oh we got one of our slender sticks. Yes! Perfect timing though, because look what just came in. The Norge. Alright, come on, Slender Stick. This is what it's all about. This is uh, I don't know what you would call this. Maybe maybe like a little cruiser. Or some some frigate maybe. Certainly, I uh, certainly the uh, the Holden Foyer is definitely not a battleship. But look at this, we are landing on that CC Norge. We are seriously landing. Actually, let me take a look here. Are we firing any of our torpedoes or anything? No, not really. They're all up in the air. Unfortunately, the recoil on the cannons on the slender stick are just out of this world. Oh, look at this. We got a little Interceptarian. Look at this. We have total superiority right now with the classics. Would you have ever guessed that? That we could have taken, like, the ships I built in Season 1 to take on uh, much easier ships. Wow, we are just wrecking it right now. Come on, baby. Oh, please don't tip over. Slender stick. No, Holenfeuer. I'm going to get the name wrong. All of our ships. <laughs> they are doing some weird maneuvers. Wow, so I like I don't know what happened to some of these ships, but for instance, the Tasty Delight in Flight it just has the slowest turn ever all of a sudden. This thing should be able to bank really hard. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know. Some of our ships are just going way out there uh, as far as distance goes. The B-90, so you can see every now and then its lasers get a little shot off. It's not great. Oh, come on, pull up, baby. Pull up. No, B-90. How big is this? That's almost 6,000 blocks of just pure ugly. Pure freaking ugly. Let's take a look at these lasers really quick. You know, what did I, what did I do on these? Let's get the interface back on. Let's try to take a look at the damage. So, 341 damage with an AP of 3 and a range of 3.3k is essentially it. And there's like, you know, uh, let's see. There's 10 of those in total on the B90. It just doesn't have the engine power to really crank them out. But look at this. We, we have, the CC Norge is out of commission. Our slender stick is, hey, it's flipped. It's flipped back the right direction. So the Slender Stick, uh, a.k.a. the Holden Foyer, it should have a healing tentacle on the back. Like, that really would have been a big help. Um, you have to do, like, a weird retrofitting thing to get those to spawn back in. Okay, so let's go ahead and take out the X-9 Experimental. It's way over there. Let's go ahead and bring it out. See if we can get enough blocks to bring in the Orbital Rain. So what I'm going to do then, I'll bring, I'll take the B-90 out as well. Let's just make room, you know? Let's, uh, there we go, we got the Orbital Rain. Let's see, where is it? It's going to be like way up here. There it is. Let's see if it's going to be able to fire. Here we go. Look, you can see the missiles coming down. Sweet. So here's... <clears throat> excuse me. Here is what an attack from the orbital rain looks like. Although it shouldn't be dipping like this. No, it shouldn't be doing that at all. Here we go. Maybe it's trying to right itself. It uses a, a couple of automated control blocks to try and keep its altitude and everything else in a, a good working manner. It tries to keep itself upright. You can see here, though... Uh, what else did we get spawning in? Oh. So here's the Norge. Uh, we got another big battleship that spawned in. The Orbital Rain is just going to be a non-stop bombardment. There we go. Look at that. That little Novara over there. Look at those missiles. <laughs> Dead. Here comes some more coming in here. Interface off. Boop. It's just going to be a non-stop barrage from that Orbital Rain. See, this is a Destroyer 01S already down by close to a thousand blocks. See if we're see if it's still shooting missiles. Is it just going to keep them coming? Oh yeah, look at this. It's like you know when you find an ant mound and and you piss off all the ants and they just start just flying out of there like in a frenzy. That's what's going on right here. This is some sort of missile frenzy, man. Yes, it's unfortunate that it's it's tilting though. You know, I hate seeing that. There it goes. It's kind of riding itself. I don't know what could cause that, but there have been like I've said. Um, lots of changes to the game since I made all of these ships. So the Norge, I, I'm just so blown away right now. Like the Norge is out of commission. In fact, let's get our let's get our orbital rain to attack. Shoot, I don't remember which one of these cores 
is the correct core, uh, the correct AI mainframe, apologies. What I wanted to do is just get everything attacking this destroyer, because the Norge is definitely out of commission, so... And look, there goes a great attack from the X-20. Shoots all those missiles. Let's see, where are they going to go, though? What are these going to do? Here they go. They're all starting to curve now. They should be going after the destroyer, not the Norge. Let's see. Uh, no, still kind of going after the Norge. I'm just completely blown away right now. <laughs> Here we go. We'll go ahead and hop our character into the Holen Foyer. Look, I mean, because I built this sweet little, this area down here. Look at this. Oh, man. Wow. Uh, skylight. We have a, a moon roof here. It's great. Or a sunroof, whatever you want to call it. I really liked adding uh, big areas that you could walk through on my ships. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's one of those days where I've just had too much coffee. Way too much coffee. Anyways, yeah, let me just get my character back down here. As you can see here for the turrets, you know, I built them where they are essentially under. Like, most of the turret components are inside the metal housing of the Holen Foyer, which really gives them extra protection. Unfortunately, you know, it just didn't last that long. <laughs> okay, so we still have a huge barrage coming down from the orbital rain up there. Uh, we got a little X-20 doing a sweet maneuver. What do we have left as far as enemies go? Let's find out. Where's my interface? Here it is. Wow, I'm seeing uh, three more ships. Wait, four, five more ships. Okay. So we'll wait for these two to uh, get destroyed here. They're already pretty much out of commission. And we'll see what else comes in. Oh, wait, we just got one. Here, here we go. What is this? Look at this little guy. It's like a submarine. A Typhoon class. Very cool. How will it do? We got the X-20 over there firing. You can see it on the horizon. A little shot coming out. I don't know if those missiles are going to be able to come back around. Unfortunately, that Typhoon class spawned right in next to the Norge. And, uh, yeah, look at this. We've already... We've done some mega damage to this guy. Slender Stick just about fully healed. Y'all, we... We are rocking it right now. This is... You know what? I came in here thinking we were just going to get obliterated, but this is working out great. This is amazing. I'm really happy right now. I don't know if you can tell. I'm super stoked. Yeah, so this was back when I made sure to add uh, healing tentacles to all of my ships. For those of you who've been here for a while, you uh, long timers, you know, who've been here since, uh, what, like six, seven months ago when we built some of these, uh, I was so huge. I would always say, like, you got to add those healing tentacles, you know? And uh, this is one of those great cases, you know, it's when your ships are flying near each other, they, they can support each other. You know, do a little heal, a little, little drive-by heal, a little fly-by heal. So here's the X-10, getting a nice little volley off. Unfortunately, there's not really a ship for it to hit. Okay, here we go, we got an enemy spawning in, what are we going to get? Wow, really? Oh my goodness! It spawned out of the water! No, it spawned on top of my holding foyer! No! This looks amazing, though. Look at this. Wait a minute. Is this supposed to be in the air? A Novgorod. Novgorod. Oh, how are you going to deal with all these missiles, man? I don't think you will. This is fantastic. This is such an action-packed episode. Man, this is excellent. I'm really thoroughly enjoying this. This is going to be a longer episode. I hope you all are okay with that. It, this may end up being like a 30-minute one. <laughs> Uh, so, oh, we got the X-20. The X-20 has been hit. You can see the back left of the ship there. Completely missing. Just completely gone. So here, look at this. Very interesting. The, uh, the Holen Foyer was able to get a nice shot off from those side missiles. They are set up to only shoot targets in the air. And we've already taken out whatever this is. A spirit shielded. It's kind of got that, like, B-2 look going on. That stealth kind of bomber. No, 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 no. X-20! Woo! Woo! Excellent. We are making incredibly quick work of this. So, the Novgorod over there, totally damaged. Let's see, is it close enough for us to get it? No, it's not. Not quite. We got so many ships everywhere. You can see, though, like, all of my ships are rather dysfunctional. Um, after all the updates and not really working on them, like, you know, the hole in foyer, completely sideways. The recoil on the cannons is so much that it actually tips the ship over. Here's the Junker. Here we go. 
The mighty Junker. No, the Stratostorm. Oh, I had it wrong. How will the Stratostorm do? What an amazing looking ship, by the way. Love it. Let's get this. One more Dingleberry. There we go. I'm thinking about thumbnails right now. There we are. So you can see our, let's see, uh, Interceptorian is just sitting pretty over there. There's our X-20 flying sideways, firing his missiles. <laughs> Look at this. Look how funny. Oh, no, he, okay, yeah, he was sideways just for a little bit, but he got a nice shot off there. Oh, he's going to really point blank it. No, stop hitting each other. Don't do it. No, little Interceptorian. Another mid-air collision, folks. Oh, my sweet Mary Mother Moses of God on a cheese wheel. The Interceptorian is totally too damaged. That is a completely destroyed blueprint. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, but look all the healers. Oh, my God. Oh, the other Interceptorian just came out of nowhere. Ding. We leveled. Excellent. Here's a tasty delight. Y'all, we got ships everywhere. Hammer and stuff left and right. Boom! Stratostorm down for the count. X-10 flying around, doing a little turn. Oh, we got another... We got another River's Delight. Look at it. Look at these vibrant colors. Uh, what are you shooting at, dude? That's the Holen Foyer over there. That is my ship. Hang on, let's just see where these bullets are going to land. Dude, are you shooting at me? What the heck, dog? What are you doing? Oh, one of our X-20s is down in the water. Is there a ship over here somewhere? Oh, there is. Look. Right over here. This must be another Typhoon class. Let's see here. Yep, Typhoon class. Great spot. He's got that little mound over on the other side. So you can see... Well, some of the missiles are actually making it under the water. Look at that. This is just fantastic. I'm loving this right now, y'all. This is actually... a. This is great. We have superiority across the board with our derpy little ships. <laughs> it's so derpy. The orbital rain has not stopped shooting missiles. It just keeps them coming. And like I said, each one of those four missile batteries is a completely different missile makeup. You know, some use target prediction, some use APN guidance. Uh, some use the one turns, and uh, they, they do have different smattering of frag warheads and explosive warheads, etc. That kind of thing. So... Typhoon class, it's not doing so great down here. I'm not really seeing it shoot at all. Let's see, what sort of enemy ships do we have left that we will be dealing with? That's it. Y'all, this is it. The Typhoon class down there is the last one. The River's Delight doing an unfortunate maneuver again. It's trying to get out of the water. So I have another variant of the River's Delight called the River's Delight Rafflecopter. And uh, that version, it actually... it it. Flies. I put some jet engines on the back just for funsies, and uh, it, it just sort of like flies around derpy and like splashes down, comes back up. So let's see, and, uh, one of my vehicles must be built backwards. I've got the controller the wrong way. I'm just looking at the uh, notifications on the screen here. So Slender Stick, how are you doing? You're you're not in a good spot here. Hole in foyer, apologies. More missiles from the orbital rain. It really is non-stop. Typhoon class is, is totally done. It's uh, health is below 80%. He's sinking. We've we've got just major holes in the hole. Nothing you can do about that. Few exposed cannon barrels. Wow. I am so blown away right now. Actually, let's let's hop out of here. Can we? See if we can get out of the uh, hole in foyer here. Maybe we can get over to that little typhoon class. I think we're like right near it. Yeah, he's right over here. Go. Go 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 little guy. Oh my gosh, please. Firing piece holding fire due to failsafe. Get over there, Grundle. We want the resources. You know what? We've gotten over a million metal from this battle. Wow, over a million metal. And is it just me or are we going really slow? Oh, check this out. Look at this option I found, by the way. Slow motion on huge explosions. I turned that off. For those of you, again, who've been here for a while, that was something I always complained about. Like, ah, oh, the game's already going kind of slow. The explosions make it even more so. Be great to disable them. Well, now you can. Ladies and gentlemen, we won the battle. We've done it. We've done it with... Look, we only lost three ships. 
uh, River's Delight, a X-10 Sky Delight, and an X-20 Sky Hammer. And the total cost of these ships is probably like less than 300,000 metal, I bet, for the combined cost. Uh, you know, they're more wood. Wow, I can't believe we did it. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, that was epic. All right, well, ladies and gents, that's what uh, that's what I wanted to show you in this episode. Just take a look at all of our classics. You know, just see what they were about. See how they'd fare against a random enemy like the Steel Striders. That was really fun. So, ladies and gents, we'll stop this episode here. In the next episode, I'm hoping we will start off a custom campaign. That's the thought. We're going to try the campaign by Abier. I don't know the name of it. Uh, I'm going to go look it up here afterwards, but I will start prepping that. We may have an extra day or two where... Uh, we don't have an episode for From the Depths, and that probably will be due to me having to build a ship or two to start us off in the campaign. Um, you know, I, I want to have a different play style where, essentially, uh, I want to do a capture play style where we have minimal builds, we have builds that are more decoys and distractions, and, uh, and then we try ourselves to go capture the enemy ships, and then we will use those ships against further enemies, and we will upgrade them and buff them. Uh, just a different play style, you know, all around. I mean, what, you don't see a lot of people doing custom campaigns, certainly not on YouTube, and uh, it's just a, a way different play style. So I don't know, the combined, the combo could be a lot of fun. So anyways, ladies and gents, this is where we'll stop the episode. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out. It's been great having you all here, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed seeing the classics. If you did enjoy the episode, definitely give it the old thumbs up. You know, I love the continued support, and if you have any comments or whatnot, feel free to drop them. I love that kind of thing, and I'll, I'll try my best to be responsive. So look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Hope you all have a great one. Take it easy and stay classy.